Hey everybody, this is CM Punk and this is The Breakdown. Let's pause it here. The use of the ref as a distraction, I think if you've watched uh, any pro wrestling match, you know how accurate that is. It's 100%, but it's also very cheap and very lazy. Let the rules be the rules, because if there were no rules, uh, you wouldn't get booed for breaking them. Let's go back. Heavyweight champion belt. Let's break down this frame. Yeah, I think everybody just throws the belt over their shoulder. Nobody, nobody seems to just wear the belt. I wore it all the time so I could, you know, I could speak with my hands so the cheap seats could see it. My belt was like huge and ugly anyway, you know, so. I, it was too heavy to carry. I'm a weakling. I am punching man! Oh yeah. He's gonna miss, isn't he? He's missing. Man, I could fly. No, that's not realistic at all. Obviously they use wires or something like that for that. I've seen some gnarly dives from the top rope. Evan Rob Van Dam jump from the top rope like into the third row on top of Bam Bam Bigelow. It's always nicer when you have a big, gigantic, tough man to land on. Come on, kill him! Kill him. <laughs> ah, the bloodthirsty mortals. Let's break down this frame. To communicate, the easiest way to do it is just whisper sweet nothings into each other's ears. Or talk as loudly as you possibly can so people in the cheap seats can hear you like John Cena. It was a weird transition. The moves and everything, the chain wrestling, it's, that's all thats all classic stuff. When I said it was a weird transition, they just went from chain wrestling just immediately to like a suplex. There is a way for it to happen organically. They just felt like we missed a couple steps in there. In the tournament, uh, my champion, I right, He's breaking rules, honestly. It would be like me talking over here and talking up here and talking here when there's a camera right in front of me. He's having a genuine moment. He's talking to the people. Let's pause it here. They were playing off of the the roots of pro wrestling from like the carnival. See if the, the local can last three minutes with our strongman. The only time you're gonna get a, a, a clock in the ring, some sort of a time limit, you know, Iron Man match. Jump ahead, snapmare, and a cover. Where's the referee? There's no referee. Is the referee just gonna magically appear when the finish comes? Somebody's gotta be there to count the fall. There's gotta be a winner or a loser. That was awesome. No referee. No respect for the rules. Let's break down this frame. You know, some guys are like synonymous with uh, certain weapons and props. I always got a kick out of any time I got to handle the Undertaker's urn, just for the absurdity of it. Somebody's ashes in here. Why does he carry it if he never hits anybody with it? Leave the dead cat in the back, and then you're not gonna get hit with the urn. I'm excited about this one. Have you seen this one? ready. <laughs> I think you're allowed to bring in whatever you want in the ring when the referee has been uh, knocked out of commission. Rewind, please. And always notice, it's always like the lightest of blows that sends the, the referee sprawling into a state of unconsciousness. This movie is just deadly accurate. Ah, oh, that's a DQ. <laughs> it's a disqualification. Too late. Too late, Sly. Let's go back the easiest, like most lazy thing. You see somebody like positioned in the corner and you just like walk up to them and you, you ram your shoulder into their, uh, their, their midsection. It's overdone. <laughs> Monkey flip, They're your favorite. The yeah. monkey flip, that's that's a real move. How do you do a monkey flip? 
I mean, I could show you if you want to come over here. Right. Yeah, yeah. You would die. I got a lethal monkey flip. That's why you never saw me do it. I killed mother. You know, I'm sorry. Oh, I can swear? You can swear. Yeah. All right. Let's go back. You literally just jump on the dude and they let you per they let you. <laughs> they let you perch on like their hips there and you you roll back and you kick him into the air. People can flip out of it, land on their feet, over rotate, land on their belly and he just launched him straight over the top rope. Seen it happen a dozen times. The classic Mexican wrestling whistle to start the match. I've never I've never seen or heard anybody use a whistle to start uh, a match in wrestling. Thanks for watching the breakdown.